Hi everyone. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bombi. I have some cans of chickpeas so I thought of cooking chickpea curry with potatoes today. Also known as aloo chana masala in India. So let's get started. Heat some oil over medium high heat. Once the oil turned hot, I added the potatoes which I had chopped into about 1 inch cubes. Stir for a while. Then cover them on medium high heat and from time to time uncover and give a stir. You will soon see the potatoes turning golden brown in color and that is what we are looking for. They are almost tender but still not there yet. They will again go in the gravy so take them out once they get this golden brown color. Oops, I made a mess there. But I plan not to edit that part as it is perfectly okay to make a mess and there is nothing to feel bad about that. There is still some oil left in that pan so I am not adding any more. In it I added some jeera that is whole cumin seeds. You want the seeds to splutter to release their flavors but always remember to lower the heat of your stove while adding any kind of whole seeds to prevent them from burning. Then I added chopped onions. I added a pinch of salt and then stir on medium heat till they soften down and become pale in color. Next lower the heat as it's time for the dry spices. Kashmiri red chilli powder for the color. You can even use paprika or red chilli powder. Then turmeric powder and curry powder. Stir for a few seconds. I added little water to prevent those spices from burning. Next comes the aromatics, grated ginger and garlic and chopped green chilies. At this time when we are so limited in getting supplies I would suggest to use whatever is available. If ginger is unavailable use more of garlic or the other way around. If both are unavailable then use garlic powder and onion powder. I always keep some of those dry powders in case I do not get fresh ones. Next I added some tomato puree. You can even use fresh tomatoes if it is available or maybe canned crushed tomatoes. Even tomato paste will also work but use half the quantity if you are using tomato paste as it is more concentrated in nature. Then I added some sugar to balance the flavor. Stir for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the mixture looks grainy and dry. Then add back the potatoes. I have used one can of chickpeas. I always like to drain out the liquid that comes in the can as it is very salty and I even like giving them a quick rinse. I added the chickpeas to the pan along with some water. Unfortunately, I forgot to switch my camera back on while adding the chickpeas. Sorry guys, it's one of those days when things like this happen. But all I added were the chickpeas and 2 cups of warm water. Next I added some salt. When the gravy comes up to a boil, cover it on low heat for about 10 minutes or until the potatoes turn totally soft. After 10 minutes, let's check what's happening in that pan. I like to reduce the gravy a little more so I increased the heat. My potatoes have turned totally soft. 
Finally, it's time for the garam masala powder to perfume the dish. Do a taste test and adjust the seasonings. I felt it needed a little bit of sugar. Finally, some freshness, coriander leaves or dhone pata as we call in Bengali. Again, don't worry if you do not get it. You can serve this with roti, puri or even a toasted bread. Being a rice lover, I enjoyed it with rice. This is Bumbi and thanks for joining me. Please take care of yourself and others. Bye-bye.